it doesn't work. The only time it works, David, is if the bias is zero. We have been teaching this for how many years? When the bias is zero, it works. If the bias is anything except zero, you cannot create a set of real numbers where total percent total error equals percent bias plus percent plus two times the percent CV. It's not true. Something's wrong. It it it's you know it works in theory. So somebody said, hey, this must be you know. If this is the percent, and this is the percent, what they forgot to realize is that the CV is a function of the mean and that the um, percent bias, the denominator, is the total error. So you just can't make up these numbers. It doesn't work. It truly does not work. And this is one thing that, you know, like this is when people, you know, you have to say to people, try looking at things differently. Because these numbers are not the same. So if you... Okay. The percent bias is 5, which is correct. Yeah. The CV is 1.6, yeah. 1.5 divided by 95. Yeah. So over here it's 3. Wait. Okay, if I come over here, the bias is 1%. Mm -hmm. The CV, uh-oh. You were a few more decimal places, whoops. Yeah. Okay, they're never identical because they have different denominators. <laughs> we have been teaching, I, well, why... I stopped about two years ago, I just changed it to you can approximate. But we have believed this as the gospel truth for how many years? And it's not, because somebody I, said, this is statistically logical, and nobody ever questioned. I still don't know what happened. Well, it's the matter of what you divide it by. So if the, if, if the denominators are both the same, if this mean is 100, then sure they're the same. But you can't divide, like, this is a value divided, the, the, the denominators are different. So, right. yeah, the bias, the bias, if you express the bias as the mean divided by the bias, you would get the same number, but that's not what it is. No, but I don't understand why. I, <laughs> that's the way you do it. Well, we are given two formulas well, they, to create total error. Or to rate total, so you, this is the total error in units divided by the TE. This is the total error. So, so if you add up the percents, you get one number. And if you take the total error calculated oh. from the units, you get a different number. So the total error is bias plus, well, now if that, yeah, you five and two is eight. Oh, I see what you're doing. The percent total error. The percent total error is not the same as. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. The percent, the total error is not a percent. But, it, but if you expressed, I mean, if you say your total error is 8.2, what does that mean? It means it's 8.2% of the true value. If you... 
right? If, if you say if you say that the total the percent total error is eight point two, and the total error is eight percent is eight, but you can't say the total error is eight percent because it isn't. <laughs> but see, that's what it, it is. The total error in units is 8.0 units, and 8.0 units as a percent of true. So this is the total error divided by the true value. So if I want to calculate the percent total error, I didn't have the, you know, I didn't bother calculating this. So I would just say normally, okay, my total error is 8. 8 divided by 100 is 8%. There's nothing wrong with that. We've just always been led to believe you could get to the same number going this way. And it, it just does not happen. <laughs> That's interesting. Isn't that something? But it's like That's some of the weird. things you were talking about with the QC rules. I mean, we've believed this. You know, because we were taught, and yeah. they were taught, and everybody was taught, and that's exactly how it goes. And this is true, and we can do this. I thought, you know when I found this out? I was trying to reproduce some poster results that had been calculated based on percent bias and percent CV. So I went in, but I always want to model real numbers, and I tried to create real numbers to go with it, and you cannot do it. So when people go in and create models using percent bias, percent CV, because it's easy to make up, they don't come from real numbers. The differences are small, but I mean, we're talking to statisticians here. These are not... That's very interesting. Isn't that something? Yeah. 